It was dad's night out with their kiddos for Jason Sudeikis and Jason Bateman. The horrible bosses actors sat courtside together for the NBA Western Conference Finals game on Monday night. Sudeikis brought his nine-year-old son Otis and Bateman brought his 16-year-old daughter Francesca. The fathers and their kids watched the tense game as the Denver Nuggets beat the Los Angeles Lakers by only two points, which pushed them into the NBA Finals for the first time in franchise history. The 47-year-old Ted Lasso star may have taken a break from the soccer field to hit a basketball court, but apparently that's where his son would rather be as well. Access Hollywood spoke to Jason in March at the season three premiere of the hit Apple TV Plus series and said Otis was getting into the sport, quote, big time. Uh, I'm a new dad. Um, I'll respect your children because yeah. they were just here a little while ago, but yeah. they, they go, make sure you ask my dad um, if he's having a fun time. Make sure dad feels good. Yep. If you good. don't make yep. him feel good, we're going to be upset with you. So those are questions from your kids. There Do you, you want to respond? And, and threats, evidently. Yeah, yeah. Questions and threats. It's fantastic. Are I mean, they, are they playing soccer by the way? Are you like a yeah. soccer dad in real life? I mean, I'm getting there. My my little boy uh, is 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 really really taken with the sport. Oddly enough, the, the second we got back to the states, I think he was just you know surrounded by it. You know, between the make believe soccer and the and then the real stuff that we would go see on the weekends, and then the you know stuff we'd play on FIFA. That that now he's he's yeah he's all in. You know, and uh, and Daisy enjoys it, but you know doesn't doesn't play it yet. But yeah, Otis is getting into it big time. How often does Ted rub off on you in real life? Little just quirks or moments? Oh, well, I mean, it's probably me shining a light on a part of me that I wish I had, you know, access to more often, if anything. You know, so it's not, I'm not, again, I don't think I'm a strong enough actor to portray something that isn't already a part of me, at least not yet, you know. But like, um, but yeah, little things will come out. And, and I certainly see it, it, it reflected by if, if I, if I say something off the cuff or, or have a little turn of phrase, I do know like a lot of like random quotes. You know, I've just always held those in my head. So when I do that, I see people sort of being like, "Oh, there he is." I'm like, "What?" He's like, "Oh yeah, I know the show. That's right. Yeah, you know." So something that I've done for, you know, the 45 years prior to doing this show is uh, is now you know viewed differently, which I don't mind. It's nice.